Now, the Ghanaian Investment Promotion Center is holding consultations with the Ghana Chamber of Mines to see how they can channel, how channels could be opened rather for foreign and local investors to invest in the agri space, in uh, particularly in mining communities in Ghana. We now speak to the CEO of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. She is Mawena Treba, and she's on the line from in Accra, rather. Thank you so much, Mawena, for joining us. And maybe a good place to start is to get. A, a, a broad view of how um, the GIPC is promoting the agriculture space before we talk about this particular engagement you're having with the uh, miners. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to your, your listeners, Wale. I'm glad to be here. Um, I, I think from um, a purely investment promotion perspective, uh, we're obviously looking at ways in which we can diversify the portfolio of commercial investment opportunities in the country. Uh, we've obviously been very well known, well over uh, 100 years plus, uh, for being a strong mining country. Um, there's obviously in more recent times been a lot of interest around uh, discoveries of oil and, and, and gas in the country. Uh, but concurrently, from a strategic perspective, we want to look at some of those critical development areas and what we can do to inject new resource and financing that uh, creates the right balance in terms of, of commercial activity in the country. And uh, agribusiness is one of those very high on the agenda. Uh, what we've sought to do is to demonstrate that there continues to be growth opportunity in this sector. Uh, the fact that Ghana enjoys uh, quite a, a, a very positive profile currently um, in the global investing community in terms of our political history and the stability and continuity that goes with it. Uh, the quantum of investments that have already occurred in infrastructure, um, some of the efforts that are being made to address additional power requirements because of the increased investing activity. All of these things are helping us to refocus on agribusiness as that great opportunity, um, uh, lots of uh, land access opportunities because um, quite a few of our people have been agrarian anyway, right. um, in terms of economic activity, and right. then translating that into win-win opportunities. So um, in as much as we're inviting um, international investing options, we're also supporting the domestic Ghanaian agribusiness um, community uh, to, to build their capacity in order to engage um, at a global level. Right, and so, so this is the, sort of the long-term strategic view that we're taking, and uh, we're being very deliberate in uh, identifying potential strategic investors uh, okay. for various types of, of, of food, um, crops, and, and, and other such agricultural commodities that uh, we, we believe will, will support the agenda, as I said, well, uh, to I, expand I do know the that, uh, commercial view. Yeah, I do know that this part of, a big part of this agenda is youth empowerment, um, looking to take the youths that are involved in illegal mining out of that business. Um, can you just talk to us about your broad expectations for the impact of this of this program? Certainly. I mean, we're, I must emphasize that we're in very early discussions with the Chamber of Mines, with the Minerals Commission. Uh, but the strategy, again, is to look at ways in which we can diversify the portfolio of commercial activity in mining communities. Um, some of the studies that have been done on uh, illegal mining suggest that it, one of the ways of addressing the challenge is to ensure that there are other potential forms of employment um, and, and legal <laughs> revenue generation for the young people who oftentimes have found themselves in, in this you know, terrible cycle of right. illegal mining activities and, and obviously the attendant health issues. So um, in identifying potential areas that we can pilot, we're having conversations with the Minerals Commission about where we can potentially test case this option yeah. um, and make it viable from an investor's perspective. So it's very early days yet, but obviously our focus will be on young people in those communities, what we can do to arm them with a certain level of vocational training so that they can transition out of those activities. Um, and encourage them to consider some of these new options. Right. Of course, um, agriculture is a big part of Ghana's economy. I, I understand it's about 50% of GDP. So what can we anticipate in terms of the growth of this program? Of course, you are targeting mining communities, so, so that, that is important because, of course, the mining sector is also quite key to the economy. But then what can we anticipate in terms of the growth Absolutely. of agriculture as a result of this program? 
Well, again, as I said earlier, Wally, the, the reality is that quite a big base of our young people come from agricultural-based communities. And it's going to be important to strategically look at how we can build their capacity um, to engage in some of the large-scale strategic agricultural initiatives that make it more meaningful from an economic perspective for them to turn their eyes away from illegal mining options and look more closely at things that they're also familiar with in their own communities. And I think that's going to have a very significant impact. Um, uh, I certainly think that in some of our initial interactions with some of the key stakeholders, um, in the mining industry, certainly with the Ministry of Agriculture, we're going to have an opportunity to present our case for this strategy to them as well. Yeah. Um, there's no question in my mind that uh, taking a view of the agricultural sector, uh, translating that perhaps into agro-processing facilities will help to expand the numbers in terms of potential employment opportunities. So right. it's a very strategic view of what we can do not only to support the mining industry in ensuring that it's executed from a legal perspective, but also that we're able to consider other economic activity that supports development. All right, so clearly you'll be partnering with not just local, but foreign investors and I, I imagine maybe financiers as well. Can you talk to us about the engagement you're having with foreign investors and maybe foreign financiers for this project? It's been very exciting, Wally. I mean, we, we, we haven't said spoken to this specific internal Ghanaian initiative, uh, but there's been quite a great deal of interest um, communicated to us from the international investment community in respect of agribusiness. And so um, we've been invited to a number of roundtable discussions, um, uh, completely unsolicited, um, just to talk about some of those opportunities, uh, some of the issues around how we're managing land access. Um, access to agricultural implements. Um, uh, one of the big um, investment forums that we recently attended as an investment promotion center was in Brazil. Um, and they have a fantastic uh, story to tell about how they've been able to transform their agricultural industry. Um, so we're taking important learnings from, from some of these countries. And um, it's been very exciting to see how that can apply in our sort of economic context back home in Ghana. So uh, we're, we're seizing every opportunity at every forum to strategically engage with some of the major investors, also clearly communicating to them that we have very big expectations around maximization of use of local content. Yeah. So that then feeds back into that strategy to encourage young people to consider agriculture as a career option. So right. um, it's a very focused, very concerted view, and I'm very pleased with uh, the level of interest. There are going to be a number of roadshows right. uh, for some some key strategic investors who are interested in in the agribusiness sector in, in Ghana. So um, it, these are exciting times for us, and um, we're, we're very optimistic. All right, and best wishes as you pursue that. But my wife, if we can talk a bit about other things that the GIPC is involved in beyond agriculture, of course, everyone knows about what's going on in the oil sector in Ghana. So talk talk to us about the other sectors that the GIPC is promoting in Ghana right now, and what what are the exciting things you can report? Right. On? Right. Well, well, I guess, you know, again, uh, this is the foresight uh, that I think, uh, you know, our, our, our governmental leadership is looking into, taking a strategic view of some of those areas of opportunity um, to build capacity where there are gaps. Uh, we're looking at infrastructure, uh, power, uh, as I said, uh, manufacturing and light manufacturing industries, um, health care. Uh, these are probably some of the other critical areas of opportunity um, in terms of investment. Uh, I've been very excited um, about the level of interest, um, not just from the international investing community, but also from the domestic Ghanaian business community. So we're very engaged in uh, a number of discussions with the Ghana Chamber of uh, Commerce as well as the Association of Ghana Industries because we really want to be able to create a different sort of seating at the table. It's round, um, and everybody's bringing something to the table. So we want the Ghanaian business community to grow along with these strategic investments. And so their ability to present themselves as credible partners right. in these potential strategic investments, whether it be in uh, infrastructure, as I said, or in healthcare, uh, we've got some outstanding new opportunities on the side of the power sector because there's such a need and there is policy direction to expand investments 
in the oil, in the power sector. So, right. uh, yes, Mon- we're traditionally known for oil and gas and for mining, but these are some of the other critical areas, and we're driving that very hard in in our interactions with with the uh, business right. community. Marina, thank you very much for joining us, and we will be following up on some of these discussions and see how those investments flow into those key sectors like you mentioned. Thank you so much. Marina Treba is the CEO of the Ghana Investment Promotion Commission. And